Hi HLP teachers, this is Tectosa Rob, and today we're going to go over Google Forms Blank Quiz. So once you're in Forms, go ahead and select Blank Quiz. And what's good about this quiz option is that you have the options to actually put in the answers, so that way when your students take the quiz, it'll self-grade, which then you can take those grades and push it to Aries automatically. We're going to go over three types of questions that you will commonly use with your quiz. Once inside the quiz, give it a name. I'm just going to call this test quiz one. And then I have my first question, which will be multiple choice. So when filling out a multiple choice question, you're going to put the question in, what is your favorite color? And then you're going to type in the answers red, blue, green. Once you have your answer options, then you can go to answer key. You can set the amount of points that the question is worth, and then you can select the correct answer. You also have the option of giving your students answer feedback. So if you select that for incorrect answers, you can give them a message. Try again. You could also put a link or video to help them figure out how to do the problem and then they could try again. And you can also put a message for the correct answer and if you wanted to put a link or a video. Okay, next I'm going to add in another question. And we're going to make this one a checkbox. Now with checkboxes, the students will have to select all the correct answers in order to get the question correct. You can go back individually and assign partial points after the students have finished their quiz. Okay, so for this one, let's title this question Even Numbers. And I'm going to put 2, 3, 4, and 5 as my answers. Okay, let's mark the correct answers by going to the answer key. And I'm going to select 2 and 4 are the correct answers. And because there's two answers, let's put in two points. So, when the students answer this question, if they were to only select 2 and not 4, they would receive zero points. But if you wanted to give them partial points, when they're done, you're going to go up to the responses area and you're going to look at the students' individual quizzes and then you can assign them um, one point for just their partial correct answer. The last type of question is short answer. So go ahead and select short answer and then let's type in under question, um, spell your name. Okay, then we're going to go to answer key. Okay, for this, the students are going to have to exactly spell the answer the same way that you have it. But you can put in multiple, you know, correct answers. So, I spelled Robert with a capital R. Or maybe you don't want them to capitalize it, so I'm going to put in all lowercase. Um, but if they were to spell it like R-O-B capital E-R-T, this would be wrong um, spelling and they would get zero points. With this button, mark all other answers incorrect. If you were to select this, no matter what they put in besides these two answers, they would um, get it wrong and they would receive zero points. But if you were to leave this open, then they would get an incomplete amount of points and then you would have to go back into the quiz and assign um, the amount of points that they got correct. So if you wanted to, to do a, a quiz that had a short answer, maybe you, you wanted them to type in a few sentences or maybe even a paragraph and then you go and read it and then give them the points for their answer, you would leave that unchecked. But for short answers where you know there's only one or two right answers, you're going to put in the answers and then you're going to select any other form is wrong.
Let's go ahead and take a look at how the quiz will look for your students. So what's your favorite color? The correct answer was blue. I'm going to select blue. I'm only going to select one of the correct answers for even numbers. And I will type in the wrong answer for my name. I'll type in Ricardo and we're going to submit. And let's view my score. And I selected the correct answer for blue, so I got one out of one points. Even numbers, I got two out of four, but I still needed to select all the correct answers, so I got zero points. And my name is wrong. And because I had that box selected, then I got zero out of one point versus uh, an NA or not applicable points. As a teacher, you can go and go to the responses. And under individual, you can go back. And for that student that only selected one, if you wanted to, you could go back and then give them partial points for their answer. And then submit those grades to Aries. Well, I hope this helped. If you have any questions, please contact any of your Tech Tosas. We're always available to help.